Children of the pool? No, sorry. <laughs> About the stick dressing in the old days when the first stick when the first association was formed. Uh, well it was formed then at Southern Now, up in the College Valley. Like the, as the as the present day Stick Dressers Association. The first meeting was held in <laughs> No, it was the former day. The former day. Uh, and his dad used to, used to <laughs> get a block of wood, <laughs> say something like that, block there, and block it out, cut my you know. Well, he would get that, a thing like that, and he would cut it, he would whittle away with, with a pocket knife, sitting at the fire of a night. Uh, and tell him he'd tend to stick. And the winter's night, that's really too old, and he'd sit there and put the fire and whittle away. And whittle away. No just bloody just fires or anything in India. Just with a pocket knife. So that's how they made sticks. You see, there was near things <laughs> like the rasps and this kind of thing in them days. Like. So they wouldn't have used, they wouldn't have done horn sticks at all? Oh, they, they, would, they, would sticks, they would make sticks, they would make sticks with the horn and all. But my dad was in among uh, like sheep that didn't have horns in them days. They were in by sheep, well, you know, chivets, mostly right. chivets, but doesn't have horns. But a lot of the hill, a lot of the hill fellas would be making sticks with the horns. Sitting at the fire. So you had to rely on them to get your horns in? Well, aye. The other fellas. Uh, <laughs> well, the chivet horn is quite small, isn't it? Aye, aye. Well, the chivet tips has horns, some of and them. And those they would have made into sticks. They by could, the fire. they could. Aye, aye. Just heating them by the fire aye. and twisting them with their hands. Aye, well, aye. aye. See, we don't, we don't even know what born, do we? Aye. Yeah? And to these fellas. Do you have any of your father's sticks? No. No, no. no. And none left in the family? No. No. And your dad was in the association? No, no. Oh, no. He it wasn't was, in no, it? It would be long before the association had ever formed that. That would be way back in the, in the 30s. In the 30s? Yeah. Uh, well, he died in 1942. Just after the war? Or just in the middle of the war? Just during the war. Aye. 1942 he died, so it was before that. Uh, 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 well, it was at a place called Moneyless. And uh, he... Uh, uh, that's where, he, where we'd sit. Uh, uh, that's where I can remember of him sitting making sticks on a winter's night, uh, and that would be in the thirties, like. Uh, well, I was born in 1931, and uh, you know, it was as much as I can mind. You can maybe from I was time I was five and six years old, I can mind of him. You made him do that. Uh, and making these sticks. And did your mother, did your mother ever make clippy mats? Oh, aye. Oh, yeah. every winter she made. I used to sit there with my mum with the with the thing with the clippy mats. Aye, no. aye. There was the clicky, the clicky mat. The clicky mat. The clippy mat was it was it was a shape shaped like a letter. Tape. Like a letter, what a H, wasn't it? Or a. Uh, like the frame. Like a frame. Aye. Uh, and yeah. you put and you put a, a hessian. hessian backing on it, yeah. and then you got a, was a hook specially made for it, wasn't oh, it? The hook and, and you got ordinary clothes, you know, if you oh, bought a lot of clothes. Rag, rag. rag, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, rag, rag, yeah. Clippy mat, we used to call it. Clippy mat. Clippy. Well, Clippy. I cli no, that was a clicky mat. Yeah. And that was the, held the thing that flew in below. That's right. And the you pulled it through and, and then pulled it, it through. through. Yeah. No, and then there was what they called the stubby yeah. mat. And then they cut them into little bits. Uh, we, uh, you know, they, they had a pogger, made a hole, it stuck in end dude. And then stuck the other end in. And that was pulled it up. Aye. That's right. The, yeah. Well, they, they walked it on the top, but the other way on, kid. Yeah. And that was what they called the stubby mat. And they used to keep them for Christmas. Oh, um, with, with your mother used to do that. We used to keep them for Christmas, and that was the habit where that rug went down in front of the fire, aye. or if you had a big enough one, it would go on your bed. Aye. Aye. Is that right? Aye, that's right. Yeah. So we'd go down the, by the fire until the next year, it would be replaced the next year. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, in that days, you'd just sit there with your, and yeah, everybody, I mean, the family, I, I was, was four brothers in our family, and we'd all have to take our turns sitting with a proggy mat making the... And, and to some, make of them, it. some of them would be cutting the clutes. Cut the clutes ready for you. Into strips. Yeah. Oh, 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 and this what they called proggy, and, and it was maybe about this wide, 
and they cut them at an angle so there was like a little point on there. That's right. And that was to make the stubby mark. Make the stubby mark. Amazing. Do you have one of them? Sorry? Do you have one of these? Do you know to buy one of them now? They're expensive to oh, buy one now. Huh? God, they make a pretty fortune. It was on the Antiques Roadshow. Oh, this woman had made this huge one. A huge it was. Yeah? But you had to have a right frame. You had to have a frame. Had a right frame, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and they had to keep this Hessian yeah, well, tight. tight. The tension, yeah. And you see, there was uh, there was like two wood frames, and that, on that they had like tacked on. It was like a bit heavy, uh, what would it be? And they stood, stood the, the Hessian onto that. Yeah. And then there was two spars along each side, and they had a lot of holes in it. That's right. That's right. You could move the pegs. And pull it tight. That's right. Yeah. 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 Uh, then were the days. Uh, that was a highlight then, get the mat yeah, for Christmas. They all made them a winter's night. Yeah, winter's night. Yeah. Of course, they there was no television. No, there was nothing to occupy the time. Did you sit there, the only did was put back up and take part. And there would, you see, take part, take part. Take part. Oh, I did. part, especially as it was to run up from school and just take part. Oh, that's right. Well, the one was the first stick you made. Was it a hazel stick or was it a horn? It was, a, it was a hazel stick. That was when I was at New Eatle and I made it, I made a cook out of it. You made a crook? And I can name mine. To work with? Aye. But, well, I made this stick and I was, I was going to go and take it hill and my Uncle George uh, bought us a dog for the go and take hill with. It was quite a hand with a dog. And uh, I gave him the cook because he, he, he brought us the dog. And I gave him that cook. And, and he, he, he could have catched the sheep with, but I think he would use it more or less just for a match stick, with a oh. match stick. But that was the first stick I made. And I cut, I cut the sides out with a bushman sack. Never. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I cut the bigger end on after that just with a pocket knife. Never. Uh, uh, well, that was a good idea, huh? You didn't have any. We didn't have any uh, drills or outlets or that. So how old were you went to New Eagle then? Because that was your first that was your first job on the farm, wasn't it? I, I left the school when I was at New Eagle and started to work at New Eagle. So were you were fourteen or fifteen, were you? Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, in, uh, I was fourteen when I started to work. And that's when you made your first stick? Uh, well it maybe wasn't that first year but maybe but then anyway. Uh, then, well, no, no, I'll maybe make that stick because I went to Eagle Hill when I was 18 and I think I had made the stick and my Uncle George put us this dog to go to Eagle Hill and I gave him the stick for giving us the dog because he gave us the dog and uh, I gave him the stick away so it would maybe be, I'd maybe be 16 or 17 yeah. when I made that first stick. Yeah. And how long were you in New Eden for? We, the family was there, we, well, I finished uh, seven years, uh, but uh, I, I walked, I just walked four years at New Eagle because I left, I was still going to school when I went, to, when we went to New Eagle. I was still going to school, I went to Cookham School, uh, but my two brothers, elder brothers was walking, they were walking on the farm, so they were walking, uh, and then I left the school and started to walk. And, uh, I, I would walk for a year at New Eden because I, I left Went to Eagle Hill when I was 18 and I'd left the school when I was 14. Uh, well, I maybe would be 14 and, well, I'd, if you say, well, in them days, you left the school to the nearest holiday. Yeah. If you if your birthday, well, I was, my birthday was in September, so I left the school, what we called the Titty Week. It was a Titty Week. Oh, titty week right. uh, that was when the school, like the half term they call it now. It was the Titty Week, was it maybe in the, be the beginning of October? And I left the school then. Uh, because it was the nearest holiday after your birth. You see, anybody that's birth to come between the Titty Week and the Christmas left at the Christmas. And if their birthday was between the Christmas and the. Left at Easter. Uh, uh, Easter, the left. Right, yeah. They didn't, nowadays they have to go on to the right, summer. To the summer, uh, yeah. So you see, it was all uh, different in them days. Right. So I, uh, but, uh, I left the school, uh, I would walk at New Eagle for four years, uh, and then I went to Eagle Hill. Uh, 
And then that was back then, we were kind of picking cheese. Oh, that's right. We used to get, we used to get off the school. Jesus. We, we used to get off the school. You had to get your line, and then that was it, your line from there, didn't you? You had a, 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 a kind of stint. Yeah, it was stint, And I mind of really tracking and coming to you. Christ, I've just finished the book, and we're back again, were not we? We used to get off the school to pick the pennies, doing the work. That's right, yeah. All right. Because you say there was no money pork on the on the, on the farm. And we used to get paid the money, and a bag and a few the book of the to right. take over there. We often used to get the titties with the card, the harrier. That was after the titties and the drills, and then they used to harrow the ground, and some of the titties would trip, and they, they simply got them titties. Got them to your life. If they were bastards, you used them for the pigs. For the pigs, yeah. Oh man. Did you? did you ever work with sheep over? No, I never worked with sheep. You know, what, what, what did you like, do? Well, when I first when I first left school I was a my dad was a miner and of course I had to be a miner, didn't I? Uh, uh, and I went down and I made a drift mate. Which was, yeah, drift was made. Uh, and it was a drift a drift mate, which was four mate that had to work four mate in before uh, you with the horses, pushing the horses, putting the pit ponies. Oh, yeah. Pit ponies. Yeah, pit ponies. Push them, you want to dress them first, get them ready in the stable, take them in the pit, push these pit ponies through, and then we, we did call pony put. How do you mean push the horses through? Well, the horses were in front of you all the way. Oh, 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 yeah. drive them, they drive them with reins, like reins. Yeah, like a rein, and you had your, your set little lap, and they, 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 they go into this little thing. What happened is that lads called hand putters, and you know the guy that was into the pit line at 18 inches with a uh -huh. pick? Him. He, would, he would hit it, shovel it into the tube. The lads, about my height, probably a little bit, probably smaller, or something bigger, would push that tube to me, and I, they would know they wanted my, my set at six tubs to a horse, for the horse. The horse uh -huh. and then the horse would pull down to the weir, uh -huh. and then you'd you know what I'm thinking? You lay on the tube like that, flat, and the roof was there like that with your, with your legs, you set the leg. And then you pull the pin, and the horse was so clever, you automatically spun round, and then the tube just hit the other end, bang, 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 into the line. And then they would hook up the big uh, wire pulley, and it would pull to the surface of the. But I was in there for five years, and then. One, this one time, no boys so much, but this one time, it was getting near the holidays and all the lads said, right, we're finished lads, we're on holiday now. So what I did was, he said, instead of putting five tubes on, we're supposed to do for the horse, I had one left and I put six on. And the horse was going down the gradient like that, and the horse couldn't hold them. And his back britching snapped. And he kicked the way out on the, on the, as he was trying to break, he was trying to break these two, because they're pushing it back. And he pushed the, 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 rail, the railway track out, you know, that's the thing. The track came off, I was on top of the thing like that, and it just, it sl slung me over the top. I went underneath the horse, the horse rolled over me. And then the tube came on top of me. And that was all cool. And I thought that would be it. I thought when I saw the picture. You know the same big thing where they say you get a photograph of all your family, I saw that. Brother, father, brother, everything. Just flash in front of me. And I scraped like mad and anyway, got the, the foul air and I was safe, but I was trapped between the horse, which was kicking us, and the and the tube which was on top of us. And then the, by some of the the, the uh, they heard this commotion and the uh, charge, the charge, and the deputy came up and they uh, saw me lying there and then got me to the hospital. But I was looking for my life and wouldn't kill me. Uh -huh. But that was just to be silly by putting an extra tube Double on. Eye. Yeah, uh, the horse couldn't hold it. Yeah, uh -huh. the horse couldn't hold it. He just wasn't strong enough. Uh -huh. I wouldn't have liked to live in. So, oh, right. so my mum said that was it. I came up from the hospital and she said, Listen, I've had enough of your dad with broken bones and just to keep the shoulders and all that. You don't go down the pit again. Yeah. So he said, get out of it. Then I joined the army. This is where they got to I'm going to yeah. throw rabbits yeah. on my death. Yeah. 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 Joined the army. Six years of the Royal Artillery. Yeah. Yeah. She said, 1957 to 62. Royal Artillery. Uh -huh. But my mum said, you're not going down the pit again. That was it. So then there was no jobs there because I would buy that time. I, I went when I was 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I was 19 when I came out. You couldn't get an apprenticeship at 19.
Too late for the apprenticeship, no other work for her. So there they recruited the castle for the army. I went there and got in, got in the army. I at the Friarside, a place called Friarside, which is, uh, how can I explain you? Stanley Way. It was a, a, drift, a drift mine. There was a lot of drift mines there in those days. And you had to walk in with your, with your, with your ponies, do your shit. Came out and then back home again. But you had to walk. We walked three by before we even got to the pit. You know, you get your, your mum would give you a snap and away you went. Oh, you know, oh, they, they got your horse, did your shift, come back home, those three men back home again. By that time it was dark, really. You go in the house, you're knackered, straight to bed, up again the next day. It was just routine, re repetition all the time. Oh, that was six days a week? Six days a week, yeah. 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 I think, because I remember when I, I, will have I tell you, the one who wrote me on the farm in Hampshire, in 1972, and then we were working Saturday, we only ever had Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Kids yeah. Know they're born they're 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 born now, they don't know they're born now. We walked uh, walk this Saturday morning, and then I started to walk. Uh -huh. We walked till 12 o'clock on a Saturday, till 12 o'clock, and we got finished there. Unless it was harvest day. Uh, we finished on the Saturday morning, uh, 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 but uh, it was just, uh, and I mean, we were we were highly paid compared to the young lads who were apprentices, but obviously they, they bettered themselves later on in life. Uh, but minus, we were getting good money. Uh, you know, uh, getting good money. Uh, uh, you reckon that uh, when Jackie Milburn paid, played football, uh -huh. you reckon the miners was getting them about as much as for Jackie Milburn to right. play football? Yeah, we were getting good money. Yeah. Well, it would be. And we, 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 went, we went out on the weekend for, for a drink, you know, going after the lasses and all that. We were the rich fellas. We were the ones who could put the dancers and, and afford everything, you know what I mean? The other lads couldn't do it, like. They thought we were super rich. Well, they said, they said that. Well, right. you know, Jackie Milburn, well, he maybe would be earning as much, but no much more. No much more, no. As the, as the miners went like, for uh, uh, but you, you, you would deserve every penny you got. Oh, God, aye. Uh, that was, no, see, that was a good, that was a good, we started it, bringing the old days back. But he, he could tell he's had a hard life. Tell me he talks, he's had a hard life, you know. Oh, yeah. I think all these, I think he's all these shepherds are the old. Oh, yes. But I think all the shepherds of the old days was to be bloody hard work. Work for the money.